This video showcases how to conduct special treatment using large gems on your canvas. As you can see here, we have different sized gems. Some are smaller, some are larger, all in a diamond painting canvas. And in this one in particular is a square painting. So two ways you can conduct your special treatment. And the first one is, as you can see here in this video, by starting your raw canvas with the special beads. In this case, the electric diamonds are being laid out onto the canvas to highlight the areas that have the most light. So this is one way to start with your special treatment. Okay, so we've placed the special beads on this canvas. So right over here are the regular beads. They're the opaque beads. And then these ones are the special beads. They're the periwinkle pearls, these blue ones. And then we've got the electric diamonds. And then this one, the light purple one, are the violet pearls. So for this painting, we've got electric, violet, periwinkle, and we also have snow right over here. So this kind of gives it a different sort of sheen in those areas of the pictures. So it's easier to lay down your special beads when conducting special treatments if you can already see where you wanna place them and then continue working with the regular opaque beads. That way you don't really have to keep um, switching things around or having to pry off beads off the canvas to replace them. So this is another way to conduct your special treatment on your paintings. Some, when conducting special treatment, will wait until the canvas is complete with all of the regular beads and then they will do the special treatment. But what I've done in this particular canvas is that as I progress with my sections on the painting, I'm actually conducting it already with a special treatment so that I can kind of see and gauge how much of the special beads I'd like to use and it also allows me to divide the amount of special beads I have for the painting so that I can sort of apply an equal amount in all of the sections. This avoids me having to run out of the special beads because I focused on one particular section only. So while working on the painting, I'm conducting my special treatment as well. It helps me gauge if I am using too much of it, not enough of it, or just enough. Lee, where are you gonna place that? Show me the bead. Where are we gonna place it? So here we're looking at Genesis with the completed portion. We've got the electric diamonds over here. We've got the violet pearls over here, as well as the periwinkle pearls right over here. These ones with a tint of 
sheen and we also have the large gem right over here that occupies 16 spaces with four electric diamonds on the corners. start with the option of putting in the special stay here is only on the other side first we're gonna start with the option of starting with your special treatment beads so as you can see we've got our electric diamonds over here our periwinkle pearls our violet pearls and then we've got the three kinds of gems over here two in the same size and then we've got one that is much larger. So two kinds occupy four squares, whereas the other one occupies about 16 squares with four electric diamonds around it. So um, if you can see this right now, this is what I'm talking about. So let's go on ahead and do that. You can actually just do the rest afterwards and always add or you know lessen your special treatment bees but right now we're gonna place some of these large ones and I'll show you guys where onto our diamond painting so I'm gonna choose because Genesis is this um, image of a woman with sort of like the galaxy exploding um, around her so we've got like tiny bursts of stars so I'm gonna start with one of the purple ones right over here so we're going to place these on one of these areas that I would like so let's say for example I'll place it on areas that look purple so this look purple so I'm gonna choose four squares to place it on and that's over there so that's good to go and let's say let's choose another one so how about we choose one over let's see <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man. Okay, let's go with that one first and then let's choose a white one. So the white one is kind of like four electric diamonds, but you've got four of them. Oops. So here, we're just going to place them right over here. There. And let's do another one over here by her cheek so this is the fun part of the special treatment is that you know you've got all these options as to where you'd like to place your special beads so let's say let's do that for now and then let's work on the regular size special beads so I'm gonna work on the violet pearls so let's place a few of them like right over here. And then perhaps another one over here. So remember you can always change your mind afterwards. You can either add or subtract, remove, or change it back to the way it was based on how you want the finished result to look like but this really makes it a lot of fun because you can add a little bit of creativity to the project and really make it your own without risking so much as opposed to like actually creating you know an image of art from scratch with no codes and no instructions
so now we're going to work on a section that's already complete by simply removing some of these regular beads and replacing it with our special beads. I already have done that with a few sections here. For example, these are the giant gems already with the four electric diamonds around it. So now I'm going to pry off these 16 beads so that I can replace it with the giant one which is right over here. So this is going to look like this afterwards. But first we need to remove 16 pieces. Okay, now we've got 16 pieces removed, so that's an empty spot over there. Let me go and take a picture of that so I can show it to you guys in a clear way. And now we're simply going to slide that over right here. So as you can see, there are spaces on the corners. So we're going to add the electric diamonds on those corners. One over here. Okay, so now we have this section done and we're gonna do more by simply replacing the regular beads with these special beads. So I'm just kind of saving these. Let's move on over here and remove some of these. <laughs> 